If you don't measure your productivity on a daily basis, you're not as productive as you could be because what gets measured gets improved. So in this video, I'm going to break down eight key things that you can do to make consistent progress towards your goals, even if you're lazy. And that's what we're going to cover right now. Hi and welcome back to the Conscious Leaders TV. I'm Ed Matzner. I'm your leadership and business coach and here on this channel I meant you every single day to be a great leader and go after the life you truly want. But if you're not subscribed, you're not seeing my videos and I can't mentor you. So smash that subscribe button right there, hit that notification bell. And now let's jump into today's episode which is all about how do you make consistent progress towards your goals even if you're lazy. And the first idea I already shared at the beginning of this video is that you need to measure your productivity because what gets measured gets improved. If you don't know how you're doing every single day, well then you're not being as productive as you can be and you're not making as much progress as you could. Because the key to like know where to improve is to know where to focus on. So every single day, I wrote down on a scale of one to five, how productive was I? How much clarity did I have? How much energy did I have? When I rate myself in these key areas that are most important to me, I know where to focus on. So I can say, well, today my productivity was at a four. And then I'm asking myself, well, why was it a four and not a five? And what could I do tomorrow to get it back to a five? So the key to measuring yourself is not like to beat yourself up. Oh man, today I, did, I was a one. I was horrible. That's not the point. You say, okay, today I was a one. Now let's observe myself. What was different today? Why wasn't I at a three? What would it take to get to a four? And what would be like a five? What would that look like? What would I do? What would I do differently? So you need to measure your productivity every single day. If you're only measuring it like once per week or once per month or once per year, like most people do, don't be surprised if you're getting mediocre progress. But if you want to have extraordinary progress, you need to measure your productivity every single day. And how I do it is simply by using the High Performance Planner by Brendan Bashad. It is an amazing tool. I would link it down below. I highly recommend that you get it. I use it every single day in the morning and in the evening. It is so powerful, so like important to measure yourself every single day. And that planner does so much more, but it is an incredible tool to stay on top of your game every single day. And the second point I want to share with you in this video is that you need to have a morning routine that primes you for success every single day. Because the momentum you gain after you wake up, it goes either in the right direction or in the wrong direction. So here's how most people start their day. They check their emails, they check their messages, they check their social feed. But when you start your day in distraction, don't be surprised if all you end up doing is being distracted all day long. That's so incredibly important to understand that concept of micro momentum that you build every single day. How you start your day determines how your day unfolds. If you start your day in anxiety or in stress or in like, I don't know, what you feel on social media, well, you're going to feel that all day long. It's really hard to break that momentum, which of course you can do, but it's rather smart to start your day right. So here's what I recommend you do. You do some exercise, so you get your exercise and your workout in right in the morning, so you don't have to waste mental energy to drag yourself later to the gym. Then secondly, do something to reflect, like to plan your days, plan your goals, review your goals. I do meditation. Some do journaling, some do like reviewing their goals. Anything works. And then thirdly, like I want you to do something to grow yourself. That's the 20-20-20 formula by Robin Sharma. It simply says like 20 minutes exercise, 20 minutes reflection, 20 minutes to grow yourself. And that's all you need to have a powerful morning routine set in stone that primes you for success every single day. I mean, that's the reason why I'm so like on top of my game most of the time. Most of the time I really feel great each and every day 
And that's because I have a set morning routine that gets me into that mental state that I want to be in. So you can prime yourself for success every single morning by simply installing a morning routine that primes you for success. So critically important. Then point number three I want to share in this video is you need to reduce complexity because complexity is the enemy of execution and many people are not making the progress they want in their lives simply because they have too many things to work on. So I want you to reduce complexity and focus on simplicity. So there's a great book called The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jai Papazan and it's talking about how incredibly powerful it is to focus on one thing at a time. And that's all it is. But if you focus on one thing at a time and you don't overwhelm yourself with 10 different things you need to do today or this month or this year, but you strip it down and you have simple things, but big goals, that's so incredibly important for your productivity because you clear so much mental space. So I highly recommend that you reduce all complexity, make life simple. And that's how you can accelerate your progress. And if you want to go so much deeper, like the most advanced training that you'll ever get on productivity, then join my Productivity Accelerator Blueprint down below. It's my most advanced training course. I highly recommend that you check it out and I've cooked something very special up for this community only. So check it out down below. But now point number four, which I want you to do, is I want you to set yourself identity goals. See, most people set themselves outcome goals. When you're setting outcome goals, well, you're focused on the outcomes, but you don't know what you need to do and who you need to be to reach those goals. So for example, at the beginning of 2020, I had just started my business. I felt like, well, I, I would like to earn 100K this year. I'm going to be bold, I'm going to be confident. And that's the goal I had set for myself. But I didn't know that I needed an identity goal as well to move into that identity so that I feel worthy of receiving that 100K because I had never earned this much. And if you set big and humongous goals for yourself, you need to back them up with identity goals because if, you, like, if they're so big and humongous, if you like, were the person who was achieving those goals, you would already be there. But you're not, and that's okay. But you need to set an identity goal. So at like six months into this year, I realized I'm not going to hit this goal at all. Not at all. I have to learn so much. And I pivoted and I set an identity goal first. So here's what I did. I envisioned that future version of me, that one earning much more than 100K per year, the future version of me so far ahead. And I envisioned what would that future version of me do every single day? And I realized that future version of me is doing a video every single day on YouTube. Okay, got it. One video every single day. And I just committed to doing it every single day. I just brought that future version of me into the present moment. And that's what I want you to do as well. Envision that future version of you and then bring it into the present moment by doing one thing, one thing every single day that your future version of you would do every single day. And you already know what that future version of you would do every single day. So just commit to doing it for the next couple of months and it will change your life. Then point number five I want to share with you in this video because I want to go beyond and above in this video is you need to raise necessity. I mean, when we want to be more productive, the easiest thing we can do is to raise the performance necessity we have for ourselves. So in the largest study on high performance ever been done, they found that high performers one of the six key habits that they share is high necessity, which means psychologically, they think like they need to get progress. Most people, they think like, yeah, I should like want to get progress. It would be awesome to study. It would be awesome to get this project done, but they don't need to get it done. And that's the difference because when you need to get progress, you are so much more focused. You are so much more disciplined. 
So for example, during quarantine in 2020, I mean, my productivity soared even though I had to take care of my daughter 24 seven at home. And it was really stressful at times, but my productivity didn't really lose a beat because I knew I need to be focused in the time that I have while she's sleeping, like, or while my girlfriend is going outside with her so I can take some time to focus. I need to be productive. And that's how you stop wasting so much time and you start focusing deeply on one thing. And that's how you can cut the time that you need short and use the time that you will need like to really get major progress. That is so critically underestimated in today's world, but it will help you like at least double your productivity if you can double the necessity that you have. So there are simple things that you can do, like setting clear boundaries. I mean, that's so easy, but when you set clear boundaries on when you start working and when you stop working and those boundaries can't be violated, you have high psychological necessity. That is so critically important. Set clear boundaries. Most people work all day long because it is acceptable to work all day long. But if you say like from 8 a.m., to 3 to 4 p.m. like I do, that's all I got. Well, I gotta be productive in those times because that's only what I've had. So that is a key difference in setting those boundaries. If you, like I have a child, it's easy for me. I have to pick her up at the kindergarten at 4 p.m. But what you could do is like at 4 p.m. I'm scheduling that Zoom meeting with my friends or I mean what you're doing in quarantine. You schedule something in afterwards so you have to take that break. You have to get off of work. Set those boundaries. That's the easiest way to increase your productivity. Then step number six, and this is so underestimated as well, you need to have a strategy. I mean, you need to know what you're working towards because being productive isn't the same as being busy. And as Robin Sharma often says, most people are being busy being busy. But you don't want to be being busy be busy. You want to be really productive. So you need to know what are the outcomes you want to generate. What do you need to work on? What are the projects you need to get done? That's so critically important. You need to have a clear strategy of what you're working towards because otherwise you're just dabbling around all day long. So that's critically important. You need to have a strategy. What I recommend you do is you go down below and join my goal setting masterclass in which I go so in depth on how to set your own goals and back out those projects so you know exactly what you need to focus on. But you need to have a strategy set in stone. That is like a non-negotiable. If you don't strategize in the long term and in the short term, you're leaving so much on the table. Then idea number seven is you need to schedule in skill development because for the next level of achievement, you will be, you will be required to do next level things that you don't have the skills for yet. Because if you had the skills, you had the results. So for example, when I committed to that identity goal of doing a video every single day, Frankly, I didn't have the results I wanted to have because I wasn't that great of a communicator. I wasn't used talking into a camera. I wasn't used to sharing my ideas because I had only done it like once per week for the last six months. So I really had to dial up my skills as well. So you set your identity goal and then back it also up with like a skill goal. What is the skill behind this thing that you need to develop? Like for me, it was communication influencing other sales and marketing. Then also like teaching personal development and leadership. Those are skills I need to develop. You need to become clear on the skills you need for the next level of achievement in life. And then the last strategy, I know this has been a lot, but this is the most important one. So I want you to start working in sprints and stop working in marathons entirely, entirely. Just cut that out because here's the thought process behind this. If we were to run a marathon right now and we're not trained for it and we have to run it today and we have to finish, 
we would preserve so much energy to make it through that race. And that's exactly how most people work throughout their day. They're working like seven, eight hours straight, maybe one break. And they wonder why they're so exhausted after work. But after you've run a marathon, you would be so exhausted because it takes a lot of energy. But now imagine we're going to run a 100 meter dash. You would give it all that you got because you know it's only 100 meter. I'm done in 10 seconds or maybe 50. I don't know how, how fast you run those 100 meters, but it doesn't matter. If we, want to, if we were to run a sprint, you would approach it very differently. So here's what I recommend. Take a break every single hour. And yes, I mean every single hour because this will change how you feel and it will change how you show up every single day. I mean, when I first started doing this, I felt like, well, every hour, a break every single hour, but then I just tried it. And immediately you feel so differently because you allow your mind to recover and your body to recover. So here's what I recommend. You get up, you stretch, you flex, you reactivate your body by clapping it all and at every part of your body. So you reactivate yourself. You can do it at home. It is so simple, but that gives you so much more energy for the rest of the day. In just two to five minutes. That's all you need to get to, to refresh, re-energize, and you will see that you will be so much more focused when you get back to work. I mean, the largest study on productivity has like ever been done has shown that high performers take a break every 60 minutes or every 52 minutes was found in the study, but you can make it like 45 to 60 minutes. And that's what I want you to do. Commit to doing that. And then until then next time, make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe right here, hit that notification bell, and then watch this video here right next to this exactly what you need. And then until then next time, make sure that you live fully, live openly and be the leader of your life.